so to make natural cordage from cedar tree, you need to strip off the outer bark and you're gonna use this white inner bark here. So let's start by taking off this outer bark. Don't throw it away. It makes an excellent fire starter. So we're gonna start by scraping off this outer layer of bark. Underneath that, you see this reddish layer here? This is called the cambium layer. We want to go through that too. Under that, you'll get this beautiful white layer. That's what you want. This layer here. Don't go too far, because uh, then you're going to get into the hardwood. But this inner bark here, that's the stuff you want. So when we're making our cedar cordage, uh, let's take one of our strips of soaked cedar bark and fold it in half. Make a wee knot at the top. Make sure one side is shorter than the other. And now all you do is you twist it and fold it over the top. Twist it and fold it down. Twist it and just keep going between these two strands. And eventually you will get to the end of the short strand. When that happens, you just take a new strand and you add it and you twist those two together and continue to fold under, twist together, fold under until the cord is as long as you would like it to be. So you'll end up with this really great looking cedar twine that's pretty strong and you can use it to make shelters and for other small tusks in the woods. Uh, the tree that we've used here today uh, has a disease and it's also got bugs in it, so it's got a limited lifespan. Uh, you can take the bark off a tree, but please do so sparingly and don't take the bark all the way around the tree or it'll die. 